Okay, making a quick video, just showing you kind of the workflow on the iPad. I haven't been on it in a minute, I'll be honest. Um, just because I primarily finish music on the um, computer, more or less, in Ableton. Um, but I use some of the same stuff workflow-wise. You see, I switched back to the x -Key Air. I used to use this all the time. One of the things I appreciate it is I have no wire there. So for MIDI purposes, this is much better. Plus it has a battery, so it works very well. That's the uh, Centrix, um Mixer Face R4. Simple, I just use it as a, it's so small. You can see how small it is. And this is the iPad mini six, but just use that for recording guitar, bass, or and or listening to the music as you've heard in the opening part of this video. All right, so this is AUM. I don't care for much. I use AUM pretty much in Koala as my main thing. So you'll see I record into Koala like that. But I have my instruments here. Then when I go to mix purposes, if I need to mix, I can start a section over here on this side for mixing. Otherwise, if I feel confident in what I got and I just want to go there, then I'll usually just put the uh, channel mixing stuff right here on this channel. But um, I use this probably the most for piano. This is a free piano, uh, claustrophobic piano made by the same guy that made the soft piano for the uh, Spitfire Labs. I like Spitfire stuff because, well, it sounds to me very, as close as I feel you can get to a piano. And the only thing I could say for sure, hundred percent is better on, um, in my opinion, this is all opinions, by the way, that is hundred percent better to me, uh, on iOS is if you can go get, um, what is it called? Lord have mercy. Piano tech. Yeah. So if you can get piano tech, oops, I still have it on the horns here. Um, piano tech is still the better, better choice. So there's um, Scalar. I usually run Scalar. I'll play the chords in first, generally through here. Then I'll come back if I want to. Add a melody, I'll do that. And then I use um, Trillion, a sample from my Trillion off the desktop for the bass. And I usually put this on to just help it cut through the mix. Grand Finale has a bass cut through mix. I use that for that purpose. This one I just used as a little accent um, and it just sounds like this. Just to throw in there, pianos. with it you see I have a kick no this is not supposed to be here simple stuff there I haven't really done much else and then and here to get those rows I use this on the hats Pretty simple. Nothing major, really. I'm not using a lot of stuff. Um, horns, I threw in kind of, oops, not that. I throw the horns in uh, when I want to do a lead, something of that nature. So this is a trombone. There's a little modulation. Or if you want to sustain, have a sustain button. 
right? So this is what I'm using now. Portability, less cords attached. I'm even gonna use it with the computer because it'll be easy just to go back and forth. I use um, this one, MIDI Mitter, to connect the device. Pretty simple. And I have that on the, uh, it's on the computer too. So you can just turn it off here and jump on the computer and go right into it and connect it. Just makes it easier to lay down simple, you know, piano parts and chords and whatever you want to do for your song. You could do the drumming in theory, put a drum thing in here, but I'll be honest, if I'm going to use the iPad, I just touch it. Why not? You know, instead of trying to connect this to this and midi man, I don't feel like doing all that. Keep it simple. I usually with these, I one shot them. The tone acts as like a filter, right? So I'll do that. You could use the EQ if you wanted to do all that, but I usually just use the tone first. And then if I need to use the filter, like in this case here, I wanted to use this, the filter, just to bring up some of the uh, the mids here. So I did that on that portion. But that's about it. That's my dog barking in the back, in case you wonder. Um, so there you have it. Keep it simple, not the major. If I wanted to, you, you guys have seen me do the master chain. It's pretty much the same as the computer. I really, the only thing I add to this one a little bit different is I might put a little EQ in it just to balance the mix out a little bit, but nothing, nothing major. And then that's kind of my workflow with this. I keep it really, really simple. Um, focus more on playing and actually trying to make the music versus trying to be like heavy into mixing and things of that nature. Although a good mix can help a song and I will not deny that. It will make the song sound better for sure. Um, but I think I, if I spend too much time on that, I never finish a song. So my goal is finishing music because the worst thing in the world is have all these songs that you make and it just sits on a device and you never put it out or you never actually do anything with it. So my thought is at least release the music. It's better to release it, even if it's not mixed top pro tier or whatever you want to call that. But, uh, at least then people can hear what you do and see what you do. All right, that's it for this video. I did say I'll keep it short. It's under 10 minutes, that's my goal. Um, do as many, I'd rather do some shorter videos. I think people will tend to watch more of it if I do that than you know, having 30 minute videos. But uh, hit me up in the comments if there's something you want me to see or show. I'm always willing to try, uh, for the most part, try something different that you uh, want to see if I have it, you know. And uh, yeah, I still use the computer the most most of the time, but occasionally if I'm out and about or if I want to travel or go somewhere, this would be probably the better setup for me to travel um, just because the computer can, toting it around can be, it's not too, too bad, but it can be kind of a little much. I can also use the phone, although I'm using the phone right now to record this video. I could use the phone <clears throat> and use this Bluetooth right into the phone and then eventually like this is going to be this is micro usb to out to usb so i have to plug it into the um i have to plug it in to the to the iphone so i'd have to get a different cable probably micro to usb and then run the camera kit with the phone that's the only problem with the phone it kind of annoys me doing that all that it's a little extra but if i'm just recording in and i don't care about having the audio go out of a source like this, then yeah, I could just use the Bluetooth and be good. Anyway, all right, that's it for this video. I'm out.